Give us the details of the sentencing and what comes next. Well, Martelman's lawyer asked the judge for a sentence of between two to three years. I mean, they, his guidelines had, uh, could possibly have been 19 and a half years. And the judge said today in determining the sentence, he had to factor in the fact that the amount of money that SAC Capital, the hedge fund that Martoma used to work for and passed these material non-public information uh, to, made $275 million. The judge said that was a staggering amount of money that he had to consider. Now, Patricia, is it possible that Martoma can now help the state and the federal officials in their ongoing investigation of SAC Capital, and then that would change anything in his sentence? Well, it seems kind of late for that. I mean, he was given the opportunity. The FBI went to him when they were investigating, and he rejected it. And then, apparently, there were more discussions, and he rejected them again. And then he went to trial, and he got convicted, and there could have been talks again, and he never uh, offered. And so he gets sentenced today. And now he's going to go to prison, a uh, federal prison in Miami, on November. Now, maybe time in federal prison might make him have second thoughts or the prospect of being away from his family for nine years is going to do it for him.